showing you part three of how to make this big and cool house, which is going to be basically about all the backyard. I already put the doors in for the backyard. So let's get started. First, take some fence. Outline where you want your backyard. Mine is going to be huge. You don't have to do yours huge. And underneath the fence, I'm going to outline it all with iron blocks. So I'll be back to show you when I'm done with that. So I'm back and I've done fence with outline of iron on the bottom of them. Next, what you want to do is make the outline of the pool. My pool's not going to be that big, but yours can be too. Well, if you, it depends how big you made your fence space. If you made it bigger, then you can do a bigger pool. So in this space, I didn't make it very big, that, and I just realized that. So I'm going to make a tiny pool. But it doesn't have to be necessarily big. Um, it can be as tiny as you want. And then, and make all the, break all the middle. And make it, I'm going to make mine four d blocks deep. And I'll be back to show you when I, actually I'm going to let you watch a little. And if you want to know how big I made my backyard, I will leave it in the description box below. So if you want to know the same size, I'll leave, you can, because I'll leave it in the description box below. Um, the reason why you can see a blue sky right now at the bottom of the pool is because I did a flat world. And as you know, if you know, flat worlds are only four blocks deep. So, my pool is going to be three blocks deep, and I make the pool problem in every house, um, because I like, um, it. Because I like having a pool. But you don't have to make it in the backyard. You can do whatever you desire in the backyard. Um, but I always desire pools. But you don't have to. You might want some else. Um, and it's totally up to you.
and then to the bottom of my pool, I'm gonna do a block of emerald. You don't have to. I just want it to match the house. Go back and fill in the gaps that you missed. And then, what I'm going to do is take this whole thing and turn it into a certain type of wood. So I'll be back to show you when I'm done and finished with that. I'll be back to show you when I'm finished digging it out. So I'm back and I've digged out the whole entire floor. Um, just have to dig out the first row. Um, and after I get out the first row, what I'm going to, um, do is, oh, and I dig out the sides of the pool so I can do it in the sides of the pool in gold. So this, just outline it with gold. And again, you do not have to do the same style as me or the same size as me in the backyard. You can be free to do whatever you want. I just figured I'll show you how or how I did it to see if you liked it. Um, For the next step, all, um, I'm going to take some dark opal and fall and some dark, regular dark opal around the pool. I'm going to put dark opal slabs on these two, on well, these two sides, not the other sides. So you can sit on the edge of the pool, and then all the rest is going to be dark oak wood planks. And after you have your flooring done and the outside of your pool done, um, what I'm going to do is, on this side, I'm going to take some quartz stairs um, and quartz slabs. Take a quartz stair, place it every block like that. Don't place it directly next to each other. That's my opinion. And then port slabs at the end, two port slabs at the end of them to make those little chairs that you can sit in. And then to make the tables in the middle of them, just put one fence down and one Carpet. I'm gonna do um, carpet, or you can do snow top if it's a snowy place where you are in Minecraft. Um, 
and just chop them up. And then over the pool, um, in the backyard, I'm going to take some fence. Go a couple blocks, four blocks high, or four fences high. And then do, um, not this. But I'm going to do Oak Woods. I'm going to do Oak Woods, Dark Oak Woods slabs, but you don't have to. Um, and I'm going to cover this whole entire thing up, so no way if it rains, nothing happens. And even when you're in a sunny place, if this was real life, you probably can keep your pool in over winter. If um, the snow wasn't blowing, then you can just like keep it all up and then just, or you can like just cage it up on the outside um, and then you can definitely keep your pool open if you want. In real life snow goes around and it's hard to get it out of the pool if, and even after it's frozen that's especially hard um and i'll be back to show you when i'm done with the top okay and i'm back so the next step um as you can see i have a roof on top of the pool now um as you can see Next step is you can take water and go along the sides with it and the smaller the pool is the easier it is to fill up. Um, then right where the water is, has not continued you want to make a block every block right there and after you do that take a cup of water turn it over to make the pool filled with water And then it skips a little gap, put a block and just fill it with water. A lot of times the pool does that. And I'll do I'll be back when I fill, fill up all all of the gaps. Another way to do it is if you have a little gap, put a block next to it and it will fill up the gap. So next step is break all these blocks inside the pool, and I'll be back to show you when I'm done with that. So I'm back, and as you can see, there's no holes or the blocks in the pool anymore. Um, next step is over here. I'm gonna make a little, um, another part of this. Um. And make it wider, and I'll be back to show you when I'm done with that. I made the roof bigger to cover this part and this part, um, and I'll be back to show you when I've done the floor. I've done the floor, and I'm going to dig an 8 by 4 um, hole, so I'll be back to you when I've got that done. And this is how to make a hot tub. After you've done that, and you want to make your square bigger, dig a 4x4 four four hole on each side, in the middle of here. Then it should look like this. Next, put a block, next put a block right there, and then you redstone going all the way around here, and 
and all the way to here and put repeaters right there right there and break this block and put it right there next next you want to put the dispensers on each side like that now it should look like this next what you want to do is in each dispenser put flint and steel in each one and i'll be back to you to show you the next step when i've got flint and steel in each um dispenser next we're not going to keep this block on top of the dispenser but it's just to put some um slabs in between the dispensers and then what you want to do is on top of this block right here we placed is put a block on top of it and then what you want to do is that's what you want to do is outline the pool which it's going to be small in this of the um but you can try to make a bigger one but this is the size people normally do then next what you want to do is take quart slabs and put them underneath these blocks so um it does not spill out and ruin your contraption and then what you want to do next is take a button and place it parallel to this block and there you go and it should, when you press it, there should be like fire. Yep, and then that means it's hot. Then, cover this all up. And be careful not to break it. Um, and then, fill it with water. And there you have a working hot tub and it will shut off by automatically and that is how you make a complete house and I hope you like this tutorial stay tuned for my next video bye guys